good morning from Minnesota, where today we're here at the Mall of America. And in this video, we're gonna show you around the Nickelodeon Universe theme park, which is this massive indoor theme park right in the middle of the mall. It is really awesome. I've been here a couple times. I quite enjoy this place. In this video, we're just gonna show you everything it has to offer, all the rides and the fun. I go by the legend. I'm joined by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. I'm always impressed with how much they fit inside a mall. And let's go check it all out. Right now, we're currently at the biggest roller coaster at the Mall of America. As you can see, these guests are kind of going into the ceiling before they drop beyond vertically on SpongeBob SquarePants Rock Bottom Plunge. I really like that name. Yeah, it's, um, it's an okay ride. It's a little on the rough side in some spots. I really think it peaks after that first drop. The first drop is really, really cool. It's also really, yeah, neat to be in. Spongebob theming throughout the course. The sign is awesome though. Yeah. And there is that sign you were talking about, Molly. Yeah, it's I an had, awesome sign. I think it's one of the best roller coaster signs on any roller coaster ever. Yeah. What else do you think is up there? Let me know in the comment section. This next ride is one that I think is super fun. This is the Avatar Airbender. It's a half pipe ride and your seats spin as you go around. It's another one that takes a full use of the space as it goes almost up into the roof. This one does not fit a ton of riders per cycle, so it can get some longer lines. But your sensations while you're on it are really, really fun. This is the one not to miss if you come here. And these rides are not overly common in the United States. Either. Right now we're at my absolute favorite ride at the Mall of America. It's a wonderful The Log Shoot, which is a big log flume kind of ride. But there's multiple show scenes involved. There's like giant animatronics of Paul Bunyan. They're making Paul Bunyan like flapjacks at one point. It's a really well themed experience and I absolutely loved it. Now, I got way wetter than I thought I would. Yes, yes. And it, it seems like we were the only ones that got soaked. Yes. I'm watching everyone else get off the ride, but we hit that rapid in a rod. Yeah, we hit rapids that were really, uh, hit us pretty good. Went over the boat. But yeah, it's a long ride. There's two lifts, two drops. You do go like all throughout this border of the mall. And at some point, somebody's probably gonna drop, right? Uh, yeah, hopefully. Also, it's really cool. It's designed so the family coaster, the Orange Tree, goes through the show scene sections of the log flume. And you can see the log flume from uh, the food court. Yep. That's always fun. <laughs> by tipping yourself left and right and moving the wings, you can flip yourself all the way around if you feel like it. I also think this ride just looks really, really good in the mall like this. The theming level on the Ninja Turtles entrance is also fantastic. By far the longest roller coaster, both in track length and ride time at the park, is the Orange Street. And I really like this ride. Actually, hot take, it might be my favorite roller coaster at the Mall of America. It's pretty smooth. Yeah, it's very long. It's very gentle. It's almost like a more thrilling monorail. But there's two lift hills, and it goes all the way through the entire park. And it's a, it's a really neat ride. I like how it goes through the long flume. Oh, yeah. The seats are small, though. Two dogs, a little cramped. Brain Surge is a very interesting ride. Uh, it's one that's not at a ton of amusement parks. You've got a joystick in between your seats, and that would flip you all the way around. And you could hold your position, you could stay spinning. That's why you see some people with more of a gentle ride, and some people with more of a wilder ride. There aren't too many of these rides out there, so if you're coming to the mall and you get the ride you spin, you'll probably want to check this one out. Going around the course there is the park's spinning coaster, the fairly odd coaster. And this is a good time. Um, sometimes you spin a lot, sometimes you don't spin quite as much. If you want to spin a lot, put your two heaviest people on the same side. That yeah, will I did that one time. It'll unbalance the car and you'll go quite a bit. But it's a really cool ride. I also love how it's designed to fit in all of the columns and rides here at the mall. This ride is Shredder's Mutant Masher. This is one of my favorite flat rides at the Mall of America. 
These are always a blast. This one does have a pretty good beaming package on it, a good light package when it's running in the evening. You get up close to the ceiling of the wall, which is always a fun time. Way up there. That's one thing about this park, they, uh, their rides, they look really great. There is a door of the Explorer themed Ferris wheel. Let's go check out the view from the Ferris wheel. And here's the view from the Ferris wheel. You get really close to the SpongeBob coaster. Like really, really close. You're up here into the rafters. Into the adorable bubble guppies ride. And you can look into the Moose Mountain Mini Golf. At the top there is the Splatosphere, which is the drop tower at the park. I love the green lights that sort of follow the ride as it goes. And you go up and down a couple of times. The Ghost Blasters is tucked into the corner, and it's the park's shooting dark ride. Mm -hmm. Also not a Nickelodeon themed ride, it's just you kind of blast ghosts, like it's a traditional Sally ride. I would say I would like to see them, uh, the, the Adventure Dome in Las Vegas is building a $6 million SpongeBob dark ride. I would, love to, see, I would love to see that here in this spot. But a lot of the effects were still in no, decent shape. I, yeah, I was shocked at how much it worked. And Molly beat me by like 300 points. Never happens. No. In addition to fun statues and some beautiful flowers, the Backyardians have their own swing ride. The crazy cars are the parts of bumper car ride. Not really like a Nickelodeon theme or anything. No, not as cute as the kids' bumper cars. No, definitely not as cute as the kids' bumper cars. I do like how it's in kind of like a log cabin. I do like how that one has a mustache. Yeah. Now you will see a lot of log cabin stuff as before this was Nickelodeon Universe. I believe it was uh, Peanuts Camp Snoopy. Ah. The cuteness is strong here. And what might be the hardest ride name to pronounce in the entire mall? This is the Bubble Guppies Guppy Bubbler. Bubble Guppies is always on uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise. Uh, yeah. Channel. And you can see Bubble Puppy up there at the top. This is one if you want to spin, you can spin. If you just want to enjoy a peaceful ride, you can enjoy a peaceful ride. One of the newer additions to the mall since the last time we've been here is the Adventure Bay Paw Patrol Playground, which I'm guessing is very, very popular. Yeah, it looks pretty well themed too with all the characters. Yep. One of the few non-Nickelodeon themed rides is the Carousel. You can ride on a couple of different animals. There is one roller coaster for small kids, and it is very small. It's the Back to the Barnyard Hayride, which you can see going around here. I do like how they have all the plants and stuff around it. Yes, I believe the dogs can ride. The dogs can ride. Boo! And magenta. Blue Skidoo. We can too. Yep, the name. The ride's called Blue Skidoo. It's really cute. Uh, who, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Yep, and uh, here that pineapple is a big guy. I think it's a big bounce house kind of thing for the kids. Molly, this one's pretty cute. Diego's Rescue Rider. It's a bus with a little face on it. Yeah. Look at the little face. He's a happy bus. I know. That's really cute. You also got statues over here of some of the different characters. The Rugrat Reptar Mobiles is an adorable little kid's bumper car ride. I'm really shocked this is still here and they haven't re-themed it. Because kids these days, I feel like, don't know what Reptar is. I don't know, but they're cute. Everyone loves dinosaurs, so maybe that's why? The Wonder Pets Fly Boat is this gentle frog hopper attraction. I like the characters. I'm not familiar with this property, but it's got a little guinea pig and a little turtle. Right in the middle of the park is a small kids train ride, La Aventura de Azul. It, it doesn't go very far or very long, but it, the train has a face on it, and that's pretty adorable. The little kids car whip ride is, I believe it's Swiper's Sweeper. Swiper no swiping, Swiper no swiping. Two kids truck ride called Big Rig. I like how it's in what feels like a foresty area. Yes. Even though you're in the middle of a mall. Nickelodeon Universe has about 25 rides that are included with your wristband. 
but there are gonna be attractions that are not included with the wristband, like the Dutchman's Deck, which is this giant, giant ropes course. They've also got some giant slides to go with that ropes course. <laughs> that is an awesome slide. Oh yeah, and they've also got a zip line that takes you pretty much the whole way across the theme park. We've done the zip line before, we've done the ropes course before. They're a lot of fun. In the corner, you'll find Fly Over America, which is the flying theater here at the Mall of America. It is $22 to ride. If you're getting a wristband, you can add it on to your theme park wristband for only $8. Which is a really good deal. Yeah, right now they're showing two different movies, the Fly Over America and the special Fly Hawaii. Uh, between the two, we've seen them both now. The Fly Over America, I think, is a better film. Yes. But they're both pretty good. We just did the Hawaii one for the first time. Solid. It's also one of the rare flying theaters that doesn't end with fireworks. Yes, that is the only one, I think. Yeah, it's a very high quality ride. Definitely would check this one out. I'm pretty sure this is new since the last time we visited Molly. There are some simulator rides that are unfortunately not included with your wristband. They, um, there's a shark attack one and a mystery mine one. If you want to ride them both, it's 20 bucks. I think we're going to skip this today. I think I've actually done these somewhere else. Yeah, They're okay. I would say they definitely look familiar. The shark attack one is weird. Zone is an extra charge, not included with wristbands. But holy cow, look at these climbing walls they have. This is really, really kind of wild stuff. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen uh, climbing walls like no. basketball themed. And there's so many of them. Yeah, I love this one where you climb on like a giant, like a giant bookshelf. Yeah. Something I think that's really neat is the Mall of America is where the Twin Stadium, the old one, used to be. And that chair right there was the farthest home run ever hit in that stadium, hit by Harmon Killebrew. Let's talk about pricing real quick here at Nickelodeon Universe. If you're on a regular day, the wristband will be $50. If you are on a deal day, it'll be $40. And if you're here on a deal day, they'll rotate rides and not all rides might be running. Now, if you just wanted to go on some rides, you can buy just point passes on their own. Uh, different rides have different point values. It looks like most are six or three. Yep, and then you can actually get some combo tickets with some of the other rides in the mall if you want to pair things up. Like we got the Fly Over America, we added that on and then all it costs us an extra eight dollars. And that'll do it for our tour and review here of the Nickelodeon Universe at Mall of America. I really like this park. I always have a good time whenever I go. There's dogs barking. Uh, Molly, what are your thoughts? I really am impressed with how many rides they fit and stack on top of each other. You know, you can see the lot And it's very adorable stuff as well. Mm -hmm. I like it, I think it's you know, $50 a little steep, but I do have a fun time, and you're paying a premium for being in a major tourist attraction, like the mall. My favorite ride is definitely the Log Flume, but a lot of good stuff here, a lot of really, really fun rides, a lot of well-themed rides. I love all the trees all over the place. It's, it's just a good time. If you got any questions about the Nickelodeon universe here at Mall of America, let me know in the comment section below, and thank you very much for watching.